lot of geek fans. It's a geek short. It's time for a Shane Reads. And what am I reading today on Geeks at the Movies? <gasps> the Thanos Imperative. As always, the Jake gave me the Thanos Imperative. He said, Shane, you should read this. It's an excellent comic. I went, sure, why not? The Jacob, why don't you tell them about the Thanos Imperative? All right, so this is probably the most different comic we've read for this segment. It's all like crazy cosmic weirdness going on. You got the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. You got Nova. You got all all these crazy cosmic characters. So there's this like there's this thing called the Fault. It opens up. All these weird monsters come out, and then guess who comes out? On it? Also, Captain Marvel. He comes out. He's he's like he's like all evil. Everything's weird. So explain to me uh, what you thought about this. So yeah, so the the monsters I just want to say right at the beginning, they remind me of the classic like H.P. Lovecraft monsters. Yeah, lots of hooks, tentacles, and weird non non formed creatures. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, Jake. I'm gonna do it like I always do. I'm gonna bring up the comic book tropes and how I hate it when they when they make things overly serious. I bring it up every time. You know, there's a reason I'm kind of medium on comic books and why my rating system is based around medium because I'm bothered by the mixed tones. It bothers me. So it's, it's always, I'm always kind of like, eh, it's kind of, it's always pretty good, it's all right. Um, there's another comic book we read not too long ago called All-Star Superman. Yes. Where they said, fuck it, we're just going to go this all the way. Meet the Thanos Imperative, where they do the same thing. Fuck it, let's just go <laughs> this all the way. This is wild and ridiculous right from the beginning. Yes, it is. My God, this is so over the top. <laughs> they got a talking dog, which I really hope isn't Guardians of the Galaxy 2. <laughs> I really hope that, that talking dog isn't Guardians of the Galaxy 2. They have so many characters, and they all look so bizarre, and there's so many weird things happening. So you have this invasion coming in. And apparently only Thanos can stop the invasion. Um, because Thanos equals death. It says right there, folks. Thanos <laughs> equals death. And this evasion, they, 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 they come from the cancer verse. Yes. And the reason they come from the cancer verse is because there's no death, but it's like cancer. It's like, yeah, it, uh, life multiplies like cancerous cells multiply. That's the metaphor, yeah. which, is, which is really clever. I didn't pick that up until towards the end. I'm like, why is it called? Oh, that's why. There's no death, but it's life that turns into something that you don't really want. So if you kill somebody from the cancer verse, they don't die, but they come back kind of horrible. And yeah. then they keep coming back kind of worse and worse, just like cancer. Like, you try to get rid of cancer, it keeps coming back, and it's horrible. Um, and then Thanos, we're, look, let, me get, he, let me get to the part where this, I, I, had, I had some problems with this. Cause, so, I, so I'm telling you right off the bat that, that, that I did enjoy this, and this was, was pretty cool. I liked, I liked the, the tone that was all, that was this cosmic, crazy tone. But it was so crazy to the point where I had a difficult time following what's happening at times. Yeah, I, I agree. I didn't, like, I never really understood what they meant with Thanos being death and not being alive, and now he's going to stop this. It's all right if you have, like, ridiculous plot points in, in comics. It's cool if, as long as it makes some, some superficial sense. Like, all right, if I, if I really think about this, maybe it doesn't, doesn't work, but whatever, let's go with it. Here, I never really could figure out what, what was... I mean, tell, can you explain to me why is Thanos the key to stopping this, and why is he he died? But he's not dead, but he can't die. I don't what. See, I I'm not that big on the whole cosmic universe background because it's really confusing. Okay, right, so I don't understand it either. But reading this comic, I I didn't give a shit because it was it was fucking awesome. Yes, there's that part where the the uh, Galactus engine is coming through the Cancerverse. Yes, and it's like. What the f this is a train with Galactus' face on it? Like, what, what is going and, on and, here? And it's, so, it's like the size of a planet. Yeah. It's so massive. Like the, the scale is something I, I found, um, just in general, really interesting. Because in the beginning, they're, they're in spaceships, and, they, and then, here's the here's scene I'll show you. So they're all in these spaceships, and suddenly these, these what do they call them? Uh, something constructs, universal constructs arrive. Right? So these guys arrive, and look how big they are. They're freaking gigantic. Those, those, those starships are huge. They have like thousands of people aboard. And now you get these guys. Look how huge they are. And then you mentioned the Galactus engine comes in, and they make these guys look small. So the scale is so unbelievable and so out there. And it's cool because it's out there, but it's also problematic. Because yeah. once you get, you get too out there, too ridiculous, too over the top, too many. <laughs> they, they tell you throughout the, throughout the comic book who's who. 
right? They actually they actually put their names on people. Sometimes multiple times. Like you get introduced to the characters and, and it'll say like the, their name, like oh like blah blah. I'll have it right like like right next to their name, right next to the character, they'll say who they are, and you have to have that because I could I yeah. couldn't keep track of all these people otherwise. Yeah. There's very few people I knew here. I knew some of the Guardians of the Galaxy and I knew Silver Surfer. And that's it. Yeah. Um based on what you know from Guardians of the Galaxy, the movie. What did you feel about the, those characters in this book? They nailed Star Lord. Yeah. They nailed Star Lord and they nailed Rocket Raccoon. That is that his name? Yeah. Um, they barely showed Groot. Like they only showed yeah, him like one yeah, two yeah, scenes. Yeah, he's not even in this book really. Yeah. They, they, yeah. There's a number. Like first of all, the Guardians of the Galaxy are larger than than I, than I thought. Like there's a whole. He has like a whole ship, a whole crew. Yeah. There's a bunch of different Guardians of the Galaxy, including the dog. Yes. So I, the dog. Why do they leave the dog out? I love Cosmo. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so glad they had that that cameo in, in Guards of the Galaxy for Cosmo. Remember? remember? They did. Yeah. Remember? Uh, they're walking into uh, the collector's room, and then uh, Rocket sees him in, in the little thing, and then the uh, the uh, I, they, they just uh, look at each other. Do you remember? Oh, okay. So, but he's not. In, so, do you think he's gonna be in Guardians of the Galaxy two as Cosmo? No, I don't, I don't think they're gonna do that. Why? I know. I know because. They have Rocket Raccoon. I, I, People I, I, like animals. I, I like animals. I know, but I think just the fact that he was a cameo, he was a, like an actual dog, I don't think they're going to they're gonna do that. But I loved Cosmo's and Rocket's uh, relationship. Yes. It, 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 was, it was so good. Yeah, so they nailed that. Um, some of the other characters, they, they changed. Like, they changed. Um, who's the guy that plays Batista in the Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh, Drex. He is yes. different. He's a dick in this book. <laughs> he, yeah, he's a dick, and he seems to have only one purpose, is to kill Thanos. Yeah, the, the, that's his whole. That's his whole existence, really. Like they, they got rid of that, and then they made him like have a vengeance quest for Ronan. Yeah. Um, so overall, I want to say that 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 this was pretty good. I didn't like it as much as say like All Star Superman. That was another comic where it just embraced the comicness. It just it went. You know what? I'm Superman. I have ridiculous powers. We're just gonna go with it. But I, the whole time, I could follow the story. I was like, okay, he's going from here to here. Okay, I, I get this. There was numerous pl- times here where I had to go, where I'm reading, I go, wait. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, I'm like searching, like, wait, where was this introduced? Where was this plot point introduced? Like, I actually couldn't follow the story at times where I'm like, wait, I thought, I thought he couldn't die. Wait, why did he die? What? Yeah. It was weird to me. Yeah. So, so I'm going to give this a medium plus, so it's, it's pretty good, and, yes. and, and you should check it out. Um, but you, what do you think about this comic book and the scheme of things? I, I really enjoyed this book. It, like you said, it was really confusing when it, it really got into like the whole cosmic thing, but but it, it's still a really fun book. And know, knowing a little bit more of the background, like I do, it was a little bit more uh, rich of an experience for me because knowing how uh, Ca- Captain Marvel died from cancer yeah. like ba- back in the day, and then how Drax actually like he actually uh, killed Thanos at one point. And that's why he can't die like yep. now. So it's really like r- really like in depth. But they explain it in the book, so you'll get a little bit more out of it that way. Also, but, you'll get more out of it if you just like you say, if you if you know the characters, because you give yes. me a lot of books where there's a lot of characters, and I always say, Jake, I don't I don't know comics, I don't know these characters, so it's hard for me. So you know the characters more. Yeah. Like, they show that one character you mentioned to me, Beta Ray Bill. Yes. The horse Thor. Yes. <laughs> Thumbs up. I want to see the horse Thor. Yeah. So anything else you want to say about the the imperative? Uh, just just check it out if you like crazy cosmic action because it definitely has that <laughs> crazy cosmic action. That's right. What is up next for me on the Shane Reed segment, the Jacob? Another cosmic comic. Oh, no! It's DC this time. <gasps> we got The Death of the New Gods. I, th- I think you'll like this book. It definitely uh, fits your taste, I feel like. So, Excellent uh, day. Click, uh, ch- uh, check that out next time. Excellent. So stay tuned for The Death of the New Gods. Anyways, this has been Geeks at the Movies. We'll talk to you later.